once upon a midnight dreary while I... Ah, I beg your pardon. I scarcely heard you enter my chamber. Although that is not a great surprise, for I have been distracted as of late. You see, I've just read a very peculiar volume of strange tales, and it has haunted me in a most curious way. I cannot sleep any more, and I cannot dream without horrid and grotesque thoughts intruding on my mind. This grimoire has unsettled my spirits deeply. It is written by a relatively young and unknown author by the name of Tyler James. The book in question, you see, is Beneath the Jack-o'-lantern Sky, Tales of Sweet Hollow. I am scribbling now a, a letter to my dearest love, Virginia, hoping she may respond in a cool and rational manner so as to ease my soul like the balm of Gilead. For this volume of tales, Beneath the Jack-o'-lantern Sky, is among the most frightening and appalling I have ever read. It was published by a strange company called Weird House Press, located on the outskirts of Sweet Hollow. Perhaps, perhaps, you may read it too, and you will tell me whether or not the tales contained herein disturbs your soul as much as it disturbs mine. Or do you rather think me mad? I assure you, I am not mad. But if you, too, were to read this tome, you may share in my restless roving, my nightmarish nights, my weary and wanton days. So then, read it, read it, and pray tell what you thought of its shuddering contents. See if it does not boil your brains and leave your October a frightening mass as of grave worms writhing and slithering about your very heart. See if the serene state of your soul does not blacken as with sores, and all your blood-red roses once bloomed lovely and fair, withers and is felt nevermore.